Hello, everyone. My name's Georgie, and this is Grace, and we'd like to welcome you to Saturdays with Grace. So our idea was that what children want most from their parents is time. So we're going to come up with some neat crafts that don't take a lot of ingredients or a lot of fancy things, but do take time and do need parental supervision. <laughs> And first we're going to use some cookie cutters. <laughs> so today we're going to make ornaments. Salt dough ornaments. And it I looks kind of plain right now. I painted a few over there. Grace has painted a few that we'll show you in just a moment. Yes. In just a moment. Don't but first, bring them over in just a moment. Sassy Pants is but going to... But first we are going to make the dough. Going to make the dough. Make the dough, make the dough. Grace is very practiced at measuring. You want four cups of flour, please. Four. Because if our flour is too packed, our dough will be dry and it'll fall apart. Same with cookies. Okay. Remember? Now we can do this. And make it nice and smooth. And there's one. Oh. So salt dough is super easy. It is four cups of flour, one cup of salt, and one and one half cups of water. Yeah. And it's very much like pie dough. And Just with salt in it and not the other pie ingredients. And, and no trust me, no you do not want to eat this. It tastes like Play-Doh, if you've <laughs> ever tasted Play-Doh in your There's life. There's two. I'm sure a lot of kids have tasted Play-Doh in their life. I'm sure a lot of people who are watching have tasted Play-Doh when they were a kid. Oh, you missed a bit. I don't care. That's her. I'm trying to make it All right, this. Hold on. Let's tap this up. One cup of salt. By the way, before you start, take off all your rings and jewelry because it is very much like dough. And we'll get in there. And like and ring. harden. <laughs> and the ring could get ruined, or you could never. You could have to off. take it to be clean. We don't want the chunky parts. All right. Yeah, we don't want chunky parts in your sugar. This is salt. Okay. No. I mean, so we've got a lot of projects that we could do that don't take a whole lot of time, but if anyone wants to let us know of some that they have, we'd be glad to try them. Right, Grace? Yeah. A little bit more. And then, we're planning to do two shows a month, and the second one's a surprise. And yes. It's a surprise because it's a surprise for Grace. And it's after Christmas. All right, there you go. Dump that in there. Oh. oh. Oops. <laughs> we... Okay. I was we'll trying to right. grab there we go. All right. out of your hand. All right. Now, I want you to mix that up with your fingers. 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 That means that you, if you have long sleeves and, you try, and you're and you trying to do this right now, make sure you roll them up for the mixing parts, unless you're going to use a whisk. But me and Mommy, that's why we take off all our jewelry. So, because we mix with our fingers when making dough like salt dough or cookie dough or stuff like that. Alright, here comes a cup and a half of flour. Or water. Water. Sorry. Nope. Got that all mixed up. Put it all in at once. With my hands mix it up. With your hands mix it up. Get it in there. Get it all crumbly. This is pretty much like um cookie dough, uh -huh. but it's like cookie dough that tastes like Play-Doh with get it all a few less ingredients. It's getting hard? Getting hard, right, so, so we're gonna get this gunk off my fingers. So, 
I'm gonna keep working this till the flour and salt all get in there. Don't want too much water because we're going to have to cook these. And the idea of cooking them is to dry them out. And if you yeah. have too much water in them, they'll dry out before you want them. They'll get bubbles. And they'll dry out before you want them to. No, they won't. They'll take longer. Uh, yeah. It, it and they'll might puff. Okay. Actually, you can. See a tiny little puff right there where the water bubble was. Guys, yeah, um, I'm gonna bring some of the cookies I've made up. Bring the dry ones. Bring, bring all the dry ones I have. After all the ones I have painted are dry, I'm gonna bring them over. While she does that, I'm gonna roll the dough out. Now you don't need any flour on the surface or anything because this really is like play-doh. Yeah. It really tastes like play-doh too, so guys, nice. never try eating it. And this really is a family thing because our engineering cameraman is daddy. <laughs> Say hi to daddy. Grace. <laughs> what? Say hi to daddy. Hi daddy. We want this thickish, not too thick, eighth to a quarter inch. You don't want them to be fragile and break. But too thick and they again bubble when you're cooking them. All right, Gracie. Just a couple will be fine. We're not going to show them all. Okay, and bring three. Bring your three favorite. Oh my goodness, now we're going to spend an hour picking out our favorite. Just Wait, bring the top three. Actually, Mama. Just my bring the bowl. Three, three favorite plus the bowl. Alright, come on. Because I have a favorite heart too. We're ready to start cutting. So you need your stool back over here. I know. So, we need my here's what we end up with. Grace has been painting. Salt She's got to paint the other side because when you hang an ornament on the tree, it sometimes twirls. So you want both sides painted. Yeah, you always want both sides painted. We also made or a bowl. End up bad. Which she's quite pleased with her little bowl here. And I painted a um, boards around the bottom blue outside. And then I painted it backwards, blue on the bottom, red on the outside. And Grace is making these to give for Christmas presents. But yeah. she loves hearts, so you could make Valentine gifts. Okay, grab a cookie cutter. First we'll start with, oh, and we have three surprises, so we're going to start with one of these. <laughs> Let's go with the bell. All right, go with the bell. Go with the bell. Just cut one of each of these. No, mommy, we can't let them see. Why? Because those those ones are the surprises, okay? So the round ones that look like an ornament mm -hmm. were cut with a glass, just a yeah. drinking glass. Just dead. You could use a cookie cutter or a Water biscuit glass. cutter. Would you put a cookie cutter on here? <laughs> okay. There's one. There's two, and now one of the surprise ones, which is a Christmas tree that was one of the surprises. Now you can re-roll this as many times as you want, so yeah. don't worry about. And then our next surprise spacing is Spacing of the, uh, hold on, you got to have room for that other one. Yeah, we probably don't have enough room. We have plenty room. Yeah. All right. Now you want to watch cookie cutters like this uh, very popular snowflake because they tend to break. 
So the first thing we're going to do, get these down in here, is peel away the extra. And yeah, I'll show you a few more over there that are painted. In a minute. And then I'm going to start painting them after right they're done cooking. cooking. And now, since these are going to be ornaments and we're going to want to hang them, we have to cook them. Oh, what do we do first? What do you hang them with? A string. Yeah. Where does the string go? In the hole. Which hole? Uh, this hole. All right, right here. That I'm putting. We use a chopstick to make our hole. Yeah. Let's put it right here. Yep, got to get it all the way through. So we put it in there and we go like that, just a little. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Just a little. Not too close to the edge because we don't want it to break through. Right about there. Yeah. Uh-huh. Now this one, we're going to put right in the middle, right there. All right. And down here. Down here. Uh-huh. There we go. Oh, and our cat Emily just opened the doors of our bed. She's good for that. All right, so we're going to pick these up. And if your dough's a little soft, you can use a spatula. We're going to put them over here. And we bake these. I think I'm going to oh, use a spatula oh. for that one. Yeah, probably. If you have a delicate snowflake like this one, always try to use a spatula. We bake these. Like for a flipping pancake. 250, 275, 300 degrees, not more than 300. I I'm going to do this again. And they bake for an hour. We got a plop. Alright, we're going to be plop. done with cookie cutters. We'll finish the rest yesterday, uh, later. So here's the deal. This stuff will be fine in a Ziploc for 3-4 days if you just want to have some after school activities to work on. <laughs> You. you have to go somewhere. Mama, I'm going to make a circle and a circle out of this Hold with on. this chopstick. Then I'm going to make nope. the little circle inside. We're going to do something else next. Can I We're decide make... nope. <laughs> where the little circle is? You can decide where the hole goes once we've got these rolled out. Yeah. First, okay. let me get this out nice and soft. Get the bowl. Get the burr. Wait, wait, wait. We made this bowl. Nope. Get this bowl. Oh, that I'll one. show you how we made the bowl. We're so. going to show you how we made the bowls. Bend down. <laughs> it's just my chopstick. Wave it around to you. Smack something that you shouldn't. Really? Really. And put it down now. <laughs> so. I'm just going to roll this up nice and what? normal and pick the whole thing up and put it over the bowl like that. And I also got a Pizza Hut coupon. <laughs> she did. She got a Pizza Hut coupon for reading. And also a Papa Murphy's um thing where you get to buy the pizza but you don't have to buy the cookie dough because you get the free cookie dough. Because also for it's a reading. Yep. They don't do stuff for math. They, they don't... should do stuff for math. Yeah. Grace loves math. I love math. They should so. They should make us do math homework at home. Here's the deal. Mm -hmm. We don't want this hanging off the edge of the bowl, right? Because we have yeah. to get it off. So this is a special thing we're doing for Grace that she's going to give her grandmas. Yeah. And I've already painted one for Gigi and Yaya, which is over there. That I showed you. Uh -huh. But this I is something else, inside. even more special. Yeah. And this one's right. for now, which one? Grandma this is Margaret the one, or Grandma Sonia? This is the one when you cook it. Cook. The board too. And they said you, you gotta cook it for half of an hour. You take them out, turn all the cookies. Wait, can I turn pick? hold on, turn all the cookies over. And then I pick where the thing goes. You're gonna pull the bowl out when it's halfway cooked. So that it can 
click on the inside. I pick, I pick. Right, pick. I think right here. Think right there? Okay. Yeah. So here so, is something else we're going to do. I'm going to put a hole here. So it doesn't bubble? And a hole here. So it doesn't bubble? <laughs> I'll show you. Part of the surprise. Mm -hmm. Four holes. And I bet a lot of people will be able to guess what we do with the holes when we do what's next. After we do this again. And after we do this again, we're going to add a little more because we need some pretty big space. And then um, after this video, we are going to Pizza Hut. Now we're going to go trade in her coupon. And you get a sticker. Mommy, right. can we get my sticker guide from your desk? Yep, we can. You get but a sticker. But not right this minute. And I've already got um my first sticker. She has. So yay me, I'm almost there. But not really that much there. Because I'm only getting my second So what turn. kind of other things do you like to do? Well, stop getting Grace a chapstick. loves art. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah. Remember? Yeah. No. Oh. Pull me over. Mm. Mm. Ah. Don't. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Eat my feet. That's right. <laughs> Always clean your feet if you're ever going to do this. Because you don't want dirty salt, though. That's right. Paint. Whatever you've been walking in, your little bare feet is going to get that salt though. Wait, wait, wait. They're wet now. They're wet now. We don't, we don't want wet soap though. Alright, now one at a time. Do this side first. Don't push. Just rest. Okay? Mommy does the pushing. Right, mommy does the pushing. And the cutting. Which I cannot. This is the part that needs parental supervision. And it's just a butter knife, it's not sharp. But still, probably not something you should play with. Right? When you're cutting around your toes. Yeah, unless you have parent supervision. Oh my. <laughs> How embarrassing. <laughs> Sorry, I did. <laughs> or did. I just on. made a toot. <laughs> a toot just happened. I did not right, like, know I was gonna toot. Well, there's no need to advertise it. Alright, so there is one foot. Bananas. Alright. Um, yeah. Wait, all I said was bananas. We've pushed just hard enough to make a heel, five toes, and a little bit of a of a, of a muscle. Of a ball. This is the ball of your feet right there. Yes, of a, of a bone or a muscle. Which is only a toddler. Yeah. yeah Alright, there we are. Oh, no, wait. You forgot the other part. Yeah. Alright. Got After, it. After, oh. We're going to we put holes. Put it in the heel. In the heel. Uh-huh. And never, um, ever use sharp cookie cutters if you're a kid for those of you that are kids who are watching this video lots of kids watch this video and want to do this with their parents huh always remember to have adult supervision when <laughs> doing this good job okay okay all right we have two more to make and then if this is gonna end up thing. And it hit. And we'll put those in the oven and we'll move on to the painting part. And the decorating part. A couple of different Why is the fan right above me? There's a couple of different decorating things we can try over there. What if the fan falls on Shh. me? It will not fall on you. Your daddy installed that fan, I think. No? Well, it's been up there for 10 years. It's fine. What do you mean? It came with the house. This house hasn't been old. This house has is been more than a hundred years. Oh. Oh. 
<laughs> oh! It is. Oh! It, it's really old. Our... Wait, Mama, how long ago when he died? He was 10. In human life, he was 10. Yeah, well, in people years, he was 10. Because in dog years, he was pretty old. How old was he in dog years? Well, they say a dog lives... Seven, uh, uh, oh. seven years for every person year. So that would have made him 70. 70. Alright, Grace he has a hard time holding still. 70. And when we practiced this, we ended up with a really weird looking hand. So On that side. That's okay. But. So I'm not getting right in between her fingers. Going nearly down, and then when she lifts her hand, we'll finish. I want to cut her finger. You know, strange. All right, now there's one, and I'm just gonna connect all our dots down here between the fingers and things. Hello. Um. There's a flying chopstick. And we've got another hand, I believe. Ma'am, we've got another hand. Oh, yeah, we got it. <laughs> yeah, we got another hand. We always right. got another hand. Do cookie dough. Okay, here are we your options. Options. And you do need to vote. Do we? Cookie dough, um, salt dough, and paper. Like cutting and doing stuff with paper I for know. New Year's. We could do some decoupage. Or we could um do what Mommy just said. <laughs> Four things to vote on. You vote. And then we'll do it for our first episode. So the one that gets more, we'll do it for, for our some, first episode. Some homegrown... Arts and crafts things like this yeah. involves things that are already in the house. Salt, flour, water. Water. And if there's a shutdown, no matter, we can just switch. We can... A shutdown. No, what if there happens to be a windstorm? <laughs> and their pa and okay, power goes that, off? That finger turns skinny. Anyway. We will um do we will be filming a Alright ma'am, these are going in. Paper show. Paper. Because if we're doing something also there's this one. I'm gonna put that all back and start painting now. We are painting with sponges, so let's start painting with sponges. It's kind of hard, but it's way more easier than it is of hard. So, oh, and if you don't want to have just one coat, you can put a coat of white, which I'm gonna do. After I finish this heart on the back, and, oh, and I also just got some paint on my finger. Try okay. not to do that ever in life. So. And those are some ones that we made for samples. Yep, and yeah. I would like you to paint a hand and a foot, please. Where's my water? Oh, there's my fresh water. Now, yeah. we have some art supplies. There's a, uh, there's some paint brushes. You can get these at the dollar store. Uh -oh. Some sponges. I got 25 of these for five dollars. Yeah. At the craft store. And then we have Oops. these. They're just acrylic paint. You can get them uh -oh. for 79 cents. Um, I have a gigantic oh, we're collection. Out of white. Oh dear. Over there. 
I have a gigantic collection and uh, you have to use them. You can't just have a gigantic collection of paint because if you don't use them, they go bad and get all gloopy. And then you've wasted your money. So on just glue for this paint for display. So and you never want that. The first thing I'm gonna do is decorate this bowl for the yeah. the gift we're making. Yeah. We're making And I'm gonna decorate it with a napkin. You wanna see how? Yeah. Okay, so this is just a leftover holiday napkin. I think I've got three left. Here, so we're gonna take them apart. No. Um Oh, look at that. We could probably do something like that pretty soon right there. Make it on YouTube or something like that. And then we can watch your show. <laughs> oh, I got a little bubble. Now yeah, watch the air bubbles. So we've just got this fancy napkin and some Elmer's glue. Yeah, and we're making this for my grandma's. You can make Valentine's gifts out of these. And guys, we're going to be doing this all year. <laughs> so be sure to check out the ones we do um later this year. Grace watches other kids and on the YouTube. year after. She knows how to do this. <laughs> no, I do not. I do not watch other kids. You do? You watch that girl play Roblox? A girl and a boy and um two sisters do challenges together. Mm. That doesn't really make sense because I don't know what challenges are. You've never had a challenge before? Oh, I'm sure I've had many challenges, but not the kind you're talking about. Well, <laughs> they make up challenges and um, they get the stuff they need for it. Like, what do they challenge, challenge each other to do? Well, there's one where you have to try a food. And if you spit it, there's one that I watched. Oh, and if you spit it out, you lose? That's kind of no, a cool challenge. No, you lose challenge. that um, round of the challenge. And if you don't get um, as much points as the other poor person, lose. But if it's a tie. Who picks the food? Because what we want to show you. I'm going to do red. We're going to try to get a half hour and hit the high points. And I'll show you this in a minute. The okay. So here is our bowl. Yeah. Decorated in napkin. Yeah. A couple of spots to finish. Yeah. And the next thing we're going to do. Is. When this is dry. We're going to paint the inside. I'm going to paint the I'm gonna, inside. No, I'm going to wait for this to dry. Yeah. Next thing we're going to do is... And then... Take a picture. Take a picture. A picture of Grace. And we're going to make it a little bit round on yeah. the edges. A picture of me uh -huh. to tell them who it's from and who painted now, it. I'm going to... Borrow a little thing here. You you can borrow a sponge. Um, one of those sponges. And I'm just gonna paint this white very lightly. It'll dry quickly. We'd normally wait for this to dry before we did this. Um, but Daddy, can you? We're gonna go ahead and put glue all over the back of this. And this is one of Grace's school pictures. Yeah. And we're going to put it... And that's how we're going to send it to um, my grandma. Circle, and it's going to be... And this is going to ooze out. 
We're going to punch a hole through the picture. Look, we're going to punch a hole through the picture right where the hole is. Yes. All right. Where a hole is. Hello. And then? We're going to tie a string. We're going to tie a string because you don't need strings to put ornaments on trees. Now, do I've you? also brought you, she do need strings to put ornaments on trees, but this isn't going to be an ornament. Well, I guess it could be an ornament. It's a pretty big ornament. I've got some ribbon here. And what we'll do is finish this and edit in the finished product later. But for instruction's sake, we're going to put... And if you don't celebrate Christmas, That's okay. you can make this stuff for New Year's, okay? Or a birthday. Or, yeah, or a birthday or that comes on Christmas and you celebrate that. Just because you think it's pretty. Or yeah, just because you them. think it's pretty. Because, look, we have I have. He cops over there hanging up. A button. A button. A button. We have a button. We have a button and we're going to put our string ow, into ow, our ow. button. Ow, ow, ow. right there. Foot. My foot. Should, 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 Even on your skin. Well, ow, when I pulled the... So if you get paint like this on your thing, if you're using the same craft paint we're using, you can always wash it off. It mostly washes out. Yeah. You should really wear an apron like Grace was told to do and did it. You didn't tell me. I did. I said you should put your smock on. I did not hear you. Mm-hmm. Anyway. It's those listening ears again, huh? Anyway. Anyways, right. What we're going to do when we're done I was going to put this button in to get it demonstrated. We're going to have this hang. Yeah. And we're going to see how this other hangs. four holes we made around the side? Yeah. Each of those is going to have a hand and or a, and foot. a foot. And in the middle here will be Grace's picture. Me picture. So. Okay. We're going to go and we're going to finish these up, red and we'll come back at the end of it at the end. And we'll show you the finished product. We'll edit that in. Everything will be beautiful. Okay, here we are with our finished product. We ended up printing out Grace's picture on some plain paper because it conformed to the ornament better. We hung it with ribbon from our little cup up here. And then we sprayed everything with some uh, some glitter sealer. Our glitter sealer is kind of old and doesn't have any glitter in it. But it'll seal it up nice and it'll keep for years. Uh, one of the pictures has the year on it, so we'll know when we made this. And this is all ready to give to a grandma. And we have bunches and bunches of these little things. You can take a little metallic sharpie and make it into a gift tag. Right, two sister from Grace on it. Put it on her present after you've wrapped it? Yeah. Yeah, it'll be fun, and then she can hang it on her tree. So we hope you had some fun. We had some fun. This is something really neat to try at home with your kids. And we'll see you next time on Saturdays with Grace.